And welcome everyone to a men's basketball selection committee chat here on Friday morning here in Indianapolis. I'm Andy Katz, pleased to be joined by Chris Reynolds from the 12 member men's basketball selection committee. He's the athletic director at Bradley and the chair of the 2023 NCAA men's basketball tournament. All right, Chris, uh, when I met with you guys on Thursday, uh, there were 31 teams on the under consideration. There were 27 that had been put in the field and we had 12 AQs. So essentially 39 teams were in the field. That was as of uh, through Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Where are we on Friday morning? Well, good morning, Andy. It's good to see you as always. And uh, where we are this morning, um, we spent a considerable amount of time um, selecting and seeding uh, teams on yesterday. We uh, seeded four lines on yesterday, so really excited about that progress. We'll spend um, much of the morning uh, considering teams in the under consideration um, bucket. Um, we spent yesterday evening uh, talking about those teams. We'll continue that conversation on this morning, and then we'll go into the process of selecting teams into the field and then seeding those teams. So uh, the number of actual teams in the field, how much has that changed, if at all, from Thursday morning to Friday morning? Well, we, we've seen it four lines uh, right now. Um, a lot of conversation is going to be had in terms of selecting more teams into the field. And certainly, um, based upon where we've been in previous years, we're in a really good spot. And so we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Um, there's games to be played on today, as you know, uh, conference tournament games. I uh, want to emphasize that those games are no more important than any other games, whether it be in November, uh, December, January, just another piece of the puzzle of a resume or a team sheet. And so we'll certainly be watching those games on today. It'll help us as we continue to consider teams to be selected into the field and then also where we'll see teams. So if you've got the top 16, essentially, like you guys had a couple of weeks ago in February, um, as you mentioned, there are still games Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, so we know essentially those top 16, not the actual, I don't, you do, uh, <laughs> those 16 teams, um, how much potential movement can there be within the 16? Certainly there can be some movement, obviously, because some of those teams played on yesterday. And so uh, we'll spend time um, evaluating whether they moved up or down. And so that'll be a part of the conversation that we'll have. And we'll spend a, a lot of time discussing that because uh, certainly where teams seated is really important. And so it certainly can be adjusted based upon the result of games. And so we'll certainly take that into account. So Chris, I have stressed, there's no such thing as an elimination game. Uh, so I want to hear it from you that if a team loses, uh, you know, and you've got that under consideration board, either it's physical or on a laptop, uh, that no team is erased that until Saturday night, when you actually put the whole thing together, someone still could be a, a team still could be under consideration, depending upon what could happen, that no one literally gets erased from the possibility of being the field. If you're already on that under consideration list. Is that correct? Well, I'll say this, Andy. We certainly look at a team's full body of work. And so we don't look at these conference tournament games as elimination games at all. We, we look at each team and each team stand on its own, not compared to the team they're playing against, but we look at their full body of work. And so, again, um, these games that will be played today are just a piece of the puzzle on that individual team and their team sheet and how they'll be evaluated. And so um, most of these games are neutral site games. And so uh, certainly that's important as it relates to the quad system. And so we'll see um, what the results are today on those teams that are, that are playing uh, currently. And then we'll evaluate those teams based upon their individual merits. All right, so top four lines done. Uh, what's the agenda on, on excuse me, Friday? today uh, to continue to um, fill out this field and uh, the seed lines. Yeah, and, and I'm telling you, Andy, we're the same way. Sometimes you forget what day it is, right? 
um, whether it's Friday morning, Saturday morning, Sunday morning. But what we plan to do today is um, we spend a lot of time considering teams, um, um, whether they're in the field, um, whether they're under consideration, the teams that are in the field will certainly be scrubbing um, to make sure that uh, we have the seeds correct um, based upon uh, the 12 members of the committee and their um, perspective of where teams should land. And then those teams on the under consideration list based upon results um, that we'll continue to monitor um, of today's games and, and how those games might affect those teams um, will certainly um, impact um, whether or not the committee um, decides to put those teams into the field. All right, Chris, uh, we all got a lot of hours and long days still ahead over the next couple of days, but uh, hey, feet's working. Uh, appreciate it, Chris. Thank you. Hey, thank you for your time, Andy.